that that's what the solution is for. So if you're a Bitcoin miner and you're just selling your Bitcoin into the market, whether it be, you know, OTC or on an exchange, power to you. <laughs> So let's take a step back. When a lot of these miners have Bitcoin that's already on their balance sheet, that it hasn't gone, gone through this process, that they're using, trying to tap into the capital markets, some of the, the ESG uh, funds that have mandated, you know, the ESG mandates, how are they going about doing that? Sure. Well, it's in, there's actually two pieces to this question. Um, you know, different miners have different treasury strategies. Miners like HUD-8 are like insane hodlers, like really- We love free- them. That's oh, man, that's, that's, insane in a good way. Like, <laughs> Sue Ennis and, like, Jamie, like, amazing treasury strategies. They've they've got a war chest of Bitcoin on the balance. Marathon also has, like, a crazy impressive, you know, HODL strategy. And again, these different strategies have different advantages and disadvantages. Some miners, you know, sell on a regular basis, some HODL. You know, different different solutions work for di- different strokes for different folks, right. right? They have different different expertise. Yeah, and, like, there's different purposes, right? Um, now... One of one of the proposed solutions uh, in the past, I know, I think Kevin O'Leary maybe was was sort of uh, proposing this, is what if you could buy Bitcoin that was mined from a sustainable miner, and which you know came from a sort of sustainable energy source, and basically hold that Bitcoin on your balance in perpetuity. Now the problem with that is that it disrupts fungibility, because if you're saying that right, this Kevin O'Leary coin. The keyword that was, that was someone was giving going. that hard at Bitcoin Miami. I don't know was that the Kevin O'Leary or Was that somebody yeah. actually proposed some, that? Uh, like Kevin, they, they, oh, were, they were joking. It's Kevin O'Leary. It's like you say you want a Kevin O'Leary coin for Bitcoin. Yeah, that's what you you're trying to. Which train. you know, if listen, if there was a market for a Kevin O'Leary coin, power to you, right? I'm, we're all about free markets, voluntary market-based mechanisms. We're capital, you know, conscious capitalists. Um, but the thing about Bitcoin is that it has to be fully fungible. Right. I can't say that this Bitcoin's green and this one's not green. So that's the problem that we've solved for. If you are BlackRock or MicroStrategy or Tesla and you want to hold Bitcoin on your balance in a way that complies with conventional, you know, ESG metrics or climate targets, or you just want to hold Bitcoin in a verifiably sustainable way so that somebody can look at your books and, you know, it's all transparently done, that that's what the solution is for. So if you're a Bitcoin miner and you're just selling your Bitcoin into the market, whether it be, you know, OTC or on an exchange, Power to you. Again, we're not policing or coercing anybody. It's an entirely market-based mechanism. Our ultimate goal is to change the narrative around Bitcoin and also drive the clean energy transition through Bitcoin mining, which I personally believe is one of the greatest energy, you know, energy poverty alleviation technologies that's ever existed. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We had a great time here at Consensus. At the Texas Blockchain Council, we are striving to be the nexus between traditional industries, banking, finance, legal, energy, and the digital asset industry. So we want to help you get your brand in front of those kinds of companies with B2B opportunities. Reach out to us if that's of interest for membership or for sponsorship at the summit. Hope to see you there in November in Fort Worth. Thanks again. We look forward to seeing you at the summit.